Welcome to Frogfoot. How are y'all? I'm Michael. My nephew Colton's still behind the camera. All right, so he's been holding this camera forever and ever and ever and ever and ever while I mess up this intro. We've already done it like seven times, so we're going to do this one time and that's it. Probably not. All right, so what are we doing today? Well, I'm still in Lone Star Pioneering's uh, chicken entertainment system where they hung a cabbage by the roof of their chicken run and let the chickens play with it. So I have a cabbage here that's not going to head out in time and it's just the right size for my chickens. So I'm pulling it up, checking the roots. All the roots are good, as y'all can see. And we're gonna be hanging it upside down in the chicken run. Well, let's get to, uh, get to that one. All right guys, so we got the cabbage hanging from the string here, as y'all can see. And well, basically all I did is just tie a rope or this butcher twine around the stalk and hung it up by this pipe I got here. That's about right height they need and everything. It'll take them maybe a little bit to get used to it and then they'll go after it. Of course, there again, my chickens are stupid. They lay eggs like at three o'clock in the afternoon, not the normal time when it's early in the morning. They don't seem to, they don't get up, they get up early enough, but they just don't want to do no work that early in the morning. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and change out their hay, and we're actually going to be changing their hay in the coop for pine straw, or for some of y'all don't know what pine straw is, pine needles. Now, I was decided I'd do that because, well, got wondering what else I could use around the property to use for the chicken coop, and well, we got pine straw quite, quite available around here. So I wanted to make sure that, sorry, got F running around my feet here, but I wanted to make sure that they like it first instead of me getting it all up and then putting it in there, but I gotta let it dry out for a couple of days. So we just went and bought us a whole bunch of pine straw because we're gonna be putting around strawberries and I bought a little extra so that way we could try it in the coop. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. But we're gonna get working on cleaning out the coop, cleaning out the cage, cleaning out the run, and well, we'll be putting the pine straw back in. Cabbage is going to be really interesting to them. They didn't realize cabbage fights back. So it'll take a little bit for them to get used to it. Now, as you see, they're starting to mess with it here and there. Now, y'all see C over there. She's a red chicken. She just got put back in last night and with everybody else because she is bullying the black and white one, or also known as F. And I can't have that. So we let her... Let her be by herself in the cage of shame for about two weeks. And she has lost all her pecking order. She's starting from the ground up again. So, it worked. We'll just see, have to see how long it ha uh, will work for. Now, y'all see I put that pine straw in there. And I put it on the ground like that so they'd have something to play with and scratch in and get used to it. So that way maybe they'll enjoy their coop a little bit more tonight. But I tell you, that's some of the stickiest pine straw that I've ever dealt with. I was getting stuck all over the place by them stupid things. We got some pine trees around here that got real soft needles, thankfully. And this will be the only time that they have store-bought pine straw in there if this works. And as you can see, Red really likes it. She's a, what I believe is a game chicken, and she loves scratching and scratching for bugs and tearing stuff up. All right, so let's get over here to this hay. Why am I wanting to swap to the hay? It's be simply because I don't want to have to buy any more for, uh, for the coop. 
so I'm wanting something else that I can get on my own property. Also, I don't use this hay in my compost bin, which is right there. And it's depriving me of a lot of useful compost. And the reason why I don't use it is because of a chemical that they spray on it to de-weed it. It's called Grazon. And even though it's supposed to be safe, there's still trace amounts that's in this hay that can build up in your soil over time. So I'm not wanting to take any risk. I don't think, I don't know for sure 100% that it's in here, but there ain't any weeds at all in this stuff. So I'm pretty sure that there's something in there. It may not be graze on it, might be something else, but I don't want to take the chance of. So I don't put it in my compost because I don't want it in my garden. So we got a spot over in the woods that we dump it. Now we're going to be moving to getting the strawberries yeah, kind of covered up with the pine straw. Uh, we ain't going to get all of them or all of it covered the way I want it, but we're going to get most of it. So y'all enjoy that. It's that time of day again. The sun is getting low, and so is this video. This video getting real short, y'all. Right. So, what did you see me and my nephew do? Well, I went through with the hoe and got all the weeds and everything away from the strawberries, got as close as I possibly could without really getting too many of the strawberries themselves. And he went around and played ring around the uh, strawberries and put down the pine straw, or for some of y'all don't know, pine needles. And well, I had to place the ring around the strawberries too once I finished doing the hoeing. And well, as y'all can see, that's pretty thick layer. The weeds are gonna have a hard time getting through all that, which that's my point. But the strawberries, they're gonna go through it like butter. Strawberries, you can just they'll just about grow through concrete, y'all. But I wanted to tell y'all something before I ended this video, something that I'm very, very, very happy about. Y'all remember my last video? Yeah, the one yesterday? Well, I told y'all I had red Norland potatoes, or I thought I had red Norland potatoes, and they are a determinate potato, and I was actually kind of upset about that. I thought I had one, and it ended up, or what I thought was ended up being another. Well, I called my feed and seed store, and come to find out, they actually sell the red Pontiac potatoes, the ones I was wanting. I just took it for granted when I picked them up that they, they were the red Pontiacs. Yep, don't take nothing for granted because you never know what might happen. But the red Pontiacs are a indeterminate potato. So my healing method and everything is actually gonna do what it's supposed to do this year. Yay, I'm so happy y'all. All right, so I'm gonna leave y'all with some chickens. That's been Michael with Frogfoot Holler. Y'all have a froggy day. <laughs>